Hello, welcome back to Project Air this week. I've been meaning to make this specific video about this specific plane for a long time. So I thought today is the day. This is a plane called the Vampire. It's a design that's available on my website, so check that out. So I thought today what we do is take advantage of this fairly reasonable weather and do a bit of a test flight. First of all, why don't we take a look at some footage I shot with Tom Stanton down south. Uh, you don't need to know that it's down south. I don't know why I'm mentioning that. Do you remember that project where we made this crazy thrust vectoring monster of a machine and did some really cool epic cinematic flying with it? Well, at the same time, we were making a video on the vampire, but never really finished it. So yeah, this is that video, I suppose. So I'll tell you what, why don't we watch that footage now and then we can come back afterwards and I'll tell you a few things about the channel that I've been wanting to tell you for a while. Yeah, check it out. Go. So yeah, um... I suppose a few things about this plane. Uh, I designed one a while ago uh, that was a bigger version of this and uh, that flew really nice but then I, I thought that I'd, I quite like a small one uh, that uses you know race quad electronics so yeah design this. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah <laughs> That's not too bad. No, we can take that up. Have we got any tape? Uh, <laughs> How did that happen? I like pulled out and then it, it flipped did a tip over. Stall. It must have done that tip stalling thing. Yeah. Like speed stall. I'm ready. Fly it. You can't do worse than I did. <laughs> more bit more, bit more. It's good. Oh, it's just, it's so predictable. Like So smooth. Oh, I really like this. Good. Just for cruising around, like really low in the field. I'm not going to try your manoeuvre. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. That's a really bad idea. So, how do you like it, Tom? I like it. This Probably. is the gap here. So basically, Tom's going to try and fly through those trees coming towards us. Yeah, so Tom hasn't flown this plane much, so uh, I'll let him off if he crashes it now. What were those words you just said? Oh, easy! <laughs> I reckon I can do that again. Yeah, go for it. Alright, so I flew the plane. Flies pretty nice. Let's try hit this gap again. <laughs> when you say hit this gap. Move around the side of it. I'm not. Come on. You got it. You've got this. Yeah, boy! Oh! <laughs> Back the other way! Oh, come on. If you can do this the other way as well. Without hitting me, preferably. <laughs> yes! That was insane! You know, the problem about going the other way is that you don't... You can't <laughs> see the gap that you've got in it. Oh <laughs> The problem going this way is that you don't see the gap and then your eyes focus and then you're like... Oh. Okay, we've arrived up here. This is the original flying field where I used to do all of my flying. Now I've got some access to some other places. It's pretty nice weather. There's like about five miles an hour of wind. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the specs of this thing. So it's really simple. It's got this race quad motor, as mentioned. This part comes open. This is a hatch, which has the battery can go in here. There's the electronics in here. Let me just get it off this bag and then I'll show you some more. So this kind of takes me on to what I wanted to, to uh, discuss with you about this channel. Um, how do I take this off again? Really, I just wanted to make a video that includes a bit of a message to you lot saying, I really appreciate you being here because I've got a lot of plans and a lot of things that I want to do in terms of projects, in terms of just stuff in life really. And I feel like it's nice to have a group of people who watch this channel and are interested in stuff that I'm doing. So yeah. Thank you for watching, um, I really appreciate it. And to show you, I'm going to be uh, reading some comments in a minute once I've done this. This is the first flight of this plane, so I hope it flies well. I'm a bit unsure because, you know, with a maiden flight, anything can happen, uh, as I know all too well. Oh! Uh oh! You ready to go? Oh no! <laughs> where, do, where do you hit? Where do you think you hit? Up there. All right, let's go for a launch.
It's actually getting to be quite a nice evening now. Well, that flew quite well. So I've been thinking recently, I should make these videos a little bit more in depth in terms of just talking to you and making them less fast paced and just less trivial and skimming over the surface and making them all action packed, you know. I should actually sometimes sit back, chill out and just have a chat with you. So what I thought we'd do is interact in a way uh, with me answering some of your questions uh, that were put on the last video or just comments and just, just interacting in a more personal level. So yeah, to show you that I care, I'm gonna read some of them right now. I almost just told you my password then uh, <laughs> by saying it out loud. First question or first comment. Amazing video, bro. Greetings from Peru. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Greetings back. Thank you for, uh, for joining us, Raul Sanchez. I can say that a bit more naturally. Raul Sanchez. Hello back from the UK. RMD Cade says, this build is close to my heart. So, ah, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yes, well, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. And yeah, it's a pretty cool project, the Space Shuttle. I'm really looking forward to launching the Space Shuttle. Uh, Stoff FPV says, well done, good luck with your job. Looking forward to the flight video. Thank you. It's probably gonna be in a month's time, you know, in the next month. So maybe May or, yeah, around May probably. Angel Redding says that he loves the Vintage Model Company kits. And that's that's great, awesome. It's good that you've heard of them already. Uh, hopefully you'll be seeing a lot of cool videos from that channel soon, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, someone says about the use of poster board for the skin of the fuel tank on the uh, rocket of the of the space shuttle. As I said in that video, I only had those materials, so I just made use of them, and uh, that's what you've got to do sometimes. But yeah, it, was, it worked pretty well. I'm, I'm hoping that it's going to do the job when it <laughs> actually launches. Oh yeah, I should mention that all of these comments are about the space shuttle project that were that was in the last video. Damien Build says, scale it up times 100 and put 30 model rockets in it. Uh, yeah, that might be uh, down the road. We could do something like that, maybe when I've got a bit more cash <laughs> for the rocket motors. Maybe we could do a collaboration with Peter Streeple or someone like that. Ah, now this is an interesting comment. Cassil Callisto Hooch. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong. Basically he's saying that he thinks it would work better if it was built less like the real space shuttle. Yes, I agree. I think that it probably would be better. It's a very noisy bird, I'm sorry about that. Yes, I think that the space shuttle would be better suited to fly and actually work if it was designed not to be a replica of the real space shuttle. The real one was built with thrust vectoring gimbals and all sorts of wizardry uh, that I cannot replicate in a small scale. Yes, I've heard of BPS.space. I interviewed Joe Barnard on the Flight Test podcast. Go and listen to that, by the way. The reason I mention that, if for anyone who doesn't know, BPS.space makes thrust vectoring mounts for rockets. And uh, yes, I could use that in the future, but for this project, I wanted to keep it really simple and cheap. Caleb Tink says, can you make a Zeppelin? Yes, that would be really cool. I'd love to do that. That's one of uh, the things I'd love to do, actually, do a radio control airship. Airheaded Aviator, who comments a lot of these videos, thank you, uh, says, James, you working hard on the gride. Yes, I am. Thank you. <laughs> ben Currington says, Oi, did you steal my tea gimmick? And uh, yeah, sorry Ben, I did steal your tea gimmick. Ben's a friend, uh, he does videos, you should check them out. And he does, uh, he likes tea as well, obviously. Joe Luckman says, certainly looks good. Thanks Joe, I'll see you tonight at the pub. Hey. <laughs> that's another person I know outside of YouTube. Sven Hein says, that's amazing. Really like the idea of an RC shuttle. By the way, what's the design software you're using? Thank you. The design software is called Adobe Illustrator. So that sort of closes all of that. Um, thanks for commenting. Yeah, I'm going to be putting up the designs. I mentioned it in the last episode. I'm going to be putting the designs for all of my stuff on my website and also potentially on a Patreon page. I'm sort of toying with the idea of setting up a Patreon, but uh, yeah, that's an idea for the future. Okay, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching it. Oh, it's turning into a really nice evening. So I'm going to go and chill out, edit this video, put it up on the internet, and uh, yes. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.